Welcome to Smart Remarks, where we've gone from drill baby drill to shill baby shill. So we're headed into month two of our own American Chernobyl, the BP blowout that continues to spew at least 5,000, but maybe as much as 100,000 barrels of oil per day into the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, it's the story of the year. It's an environmental catastrophe. Uh, it seems to defy fixes. It is a nightmare. Uh, and people are upset, and rightfully so, with the Obama administration, uh, which has let BP take the lead and has been content to play a subservient role as BP has sought solutions. Now, on one hand, you know, maybe it's appropriate uh, to let BP take the lead if they have greater technological expertise. But there's been widespread suspicion that BP hasn't been exactly upfront about what's happening down in the Gulf, uh, that they have been consciously downplaying the impact of the disaster in order to mitigate the public relations damage and indemnify themselves against the waves of lawsuits that are destined to follow the waves of oil. And the problem for Obama is that his administration seems to have been going along for this ride, deferring to BP at every turn. Uh, I'm not a huge James Carville fan, but he hit the nail on the head this past week when he said that, uh, quote, why do we still not know how much oil has been pumped out? Why did it take us over 30 days to get the picture? Who's running this show? And I thought, dude, BP's running this show. Uh, and by this show, we mean not merely the Gulf cleanup, but, you know, the government itself, maybe the nation itself. What's happening down in the Gulf is the inevitable result of a society dominated by corporations and corporatism. Uh, either government controls the corporations or corporations control the government. Well, we can't have the former because that's socialism and that's terrible, see? And so what we get is the latter. And now we're getting it good and hard. Uh, real regulation? We can't have that. That's bad for business. Government and BP, they're partners, see? And, you know, they provide the oil, they provide lots of jobs, BP makes the world go round. So, you know, we might bash them rhetorically, but apply any real heat? Why would we do anything like that? Who's in charge here? BP's in charge here. BP has been in charge for some time and will be for the foreseeable future. Learn to love it, because you ain't got no choice. The government thinks they're partnering with BP. I think they actually believe that BP has some kind of a, a, a good motivation here. And that's, that's one of the sort of whole flaws, is, is they're naive. BP is trying to save money, save everything that it can. It knows it's going to get sued multiple times. It knows it's in, in multiple trouble. And they're trying to play this down and say, oh, it's just a little spill in the, in the Gulf. It's no big deal. They won't tell us anything. And oddly enough, the government seems to be going along with this. And, and, and they're not, they're, so I,